turning again to the forecast cold and breezy tonight and we could see snow. Yes, snow by the yeah. end of the week. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon with that grim report. It's been a while since we said travel yes. impacts because of snow around here. It's not for everyone, but I'll show you which areas up towards the north that could exceed two inches of snowfall. We're going to enjoy the dry weather while we have it. Tomorrow night, though, the snow begins to increase, and especially Friday morning, we have scattered areas of wet snow showers in the forecast and then kind of blend in with some rain Friday afternoon, kind of a rain-snow mix. Saturday's a cold day. The sun's out, though, in the afternoon, but we'll once again be stuck in the 30s, and we're milder as we have into early next week, both Monday and Tuesday. We're back in the 50s, but we're in a wetter weather pattern, more shower activity in the forecast Monday into Tuesday. Wide range in temperatures right now, and it all has to do with Lake Michigan. 32 Michigan City with a wind off the lake, 36 Valparaiso, 38 at the loop. Away from the lake a bit, you get into the low 40s at Midway. 42 in Joliet, 43 right now in Kinkakee with a lot of sunshine, but overall the coolest readings, Lakeside, 35 right now in Burnham, 35 also in Lincoln Park, Elmwood Park right now at 39. Looking at a mostly clear sky tonight, so temperatures, they're going to fall fast. We're freezing here in the city at 9 o'clock. We're in the upper 20s around midnight, and we'll start our day tomorrow with some scattered clouds and temperatures low to mid 20s in most spots. As chilly as 22 tonight, Valparaiso and Laporte, 23, Aurora and McHenry, mid to upper 20s here in Chicago, and overnight, Wind chills feel like temperatures, upper teens and low 20s. So we haven't had to deal with this kind of cold in quite some time. And tomorrow's a lot like today, just more cod cover. 37 degrees at noon, 40 degrees at 3 o'clock. And that'll be about our high temperature for tomorrow in the city. A little milder the farther south and away from the lake you go with temperatures in the mid 40s. More clouds tomorrow, but we're dry tomorrow, at least during the daylight hours. Late tomorrow night, we have some snow showers moving on in. That's pre dawn hours on Friday, 4 a.m. Scattered areas of wet snow in the forecast. And then we get more of a snow and rain mix. See that here as we head into the early afternoon. That's 1 o'clock. And then we're done with any kind of precipitation chances as we head into late Friday evening. Let's talk about snowfall amounts. We're not going to get a whole lot of snow if you live to the south of I-88, especially I-80 and southward. You're snow free. But how about this? Northern sections of Lake County, McHenry County up here towards the north. And the closer you live towards the Wisconsin state line two and a half to maybe as much as four inches of snowfall. So traveling, especially northward into Wisconsin as we head into your Friday, especially Friday morning, some significant travel delays can be possible. I don't think we're going to get that much here in the city. We can get some on grassy areas, maybe a couple of slick spots on elevated surfaces, but overall it looks like the best chance of accumulating snowfall is going to be up towards the north, in particular north of I-88 and closer to the state line with Wisconsin as you go. So wet snow in the morning on Friday, a rain snow mix in the afternoon. It's a chilly day. It's even colder on Saturday, but we're dry at 38. 40s are back in town on Sunday. 50s near 60. How about that on Monday? That? This is kind of weather that you get a cold with, right? You yes. From 20s <laughs> At night and you're 60 in the daytime with showers around and the showers lingering to Tuesday of next week. This is just the transition of seasons as right. we want to hold on to winter, yeah. but we're headed towards we're spring. We're ready to let it go. Yes, me too. <laughs> I am too. Thanks, Thank Albert. You. Okay.